Today, we're talking about the United States Census for 2020, what it is and why it matters. I'm Bryn McBride. And I'm Robin Wine. So we're talking about the census, which is coming up. This happens every 10 years to the U.S. Census Bureau. They conduct a nationwide survey of the population to gather information like name, gender, birth date of each person in the household. They're looking at household size and the relationship between each person that lives in the house. Now it begins April 1st. It runs through July of 2020. It's a big task. The Census Bureau has to account for about 330 million people. Most people will be counted when they get a, a survey in the mail. Yeah. So 95% of households should be watching their mail for their census survey. Yeah, so when you get that survey, there's a lot of good ways to respond, some of which are online, over the phone, or through a paper questionnaire, which are all available in many languages. And a couple households might even see a census taker mm -hmm. coming door to door. That's in a little bit more remote areas, but mostly watch the mail, be ready to respond when it comes. Now, census data matters. If you raise your hand to be counted in the census, it impacts a lot of important things, mm -hmm. like the number of people you have in your state being an elected official. The U.S. House of Representatives is determined based on census data. Federal money coming into your state is determined by federal census data. Yeah, so when they get that data, they allocate federal funds for things like schools or hospitals, different public works, as well as national education or housing programs through the population data that they collect in the census. Also about $900 billion in grant money is allocated based on what the data they collect is. And think of the largest federal program is guided by census data across mm -hmm. the board, it's Medicaid. And then programs like you mentioned, some of the federal loan programs and food assistance programs has a huge mm -hmm. impact. Data is relevant also a little closer to home. Mm -hmm. If you think of a business that might be looking where to put a new headquarters or a new hospital, census yep. data can impact some of those local decisions as well. Yeah, and so we really want to stress how important it is because about $1,600 is lost per person per year for each individual not completing the census data. So that really does add up, and so it's really important that you get counted. And spread the word because there are some populations that are just traditionally undercounted, mm -hmm. which just creates more inequity in some of the federal programs and some of the representation in Congress. So make sure that you're helping traditionally undercounted populations, mm -hmm. people living in poverty, for example, make sure that they do respond. Yep. Now this year there is not a citizenship question. There was confusion about that because of political chatter that will not be included. And in fact, the Census Bureau takes things like confidentiality really importantly. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so they have a really long standing reputation of being a very confidential organization. It's illegal for them to share any information like name, those kind of things with any other agency. So just know when you're filling out that census, it will be confidential to the Census Bureau. So it's safe to be counted, raise your hand, and participate in your census survey. Yep, and we just want to stress, respond to the survey online, over the phone, or through the paper copy, and we really want to make sure that you all get counted. Get counted.